Taurus is a soul. And Taurus, this is your March 2019 Moonology messages. It is for Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon, Taurus Rising Signs as well. All right, my fellow bulls, I hope all is well. Let's get right into these messages here, straight from the book, as before. Shuffling the cards, I have selected three cards for you. And the very first card that I have selected for you, uh, Taurus, is the uh, first quarter moon. It is the um, message here says, your commitment is being tested. In the book, it says here, there could be uh, some challenges coming your way. But they're just the universe's way of testing you. The first quarter moon calls for you to face any hurdles with confidence. What do you actually think is possible? If you believe you can do it, then you probably can. If you spend your life affirming that something is too big for you to uh, surmount, it probably is. See how it works. Do you believe your dreams will come true or have you secretly already given up? So... Showing more commitment now will help you move towards your desired outcome. What you believe to be true is true for you. So believe in yourself. That is the first quarter moon. Your commitment is being tested. All right. What's up next is the, uh, well, your commitment may be uh, tested, but <laughs> this next card states that your luck or luck is on your side. This is the new moon in Sagittarius, okay? These cards are never read in the uh, reverse position. So with luck being on your side, let's see what it says here in the book. Whatever is coming your way, it looks set to put a smile on your face. The new moon in Sagittarius can mark the restart of fun after a period of feeling low. The energy is av adventurous and even willing to take a few risks. But be careful you don't bet the farm on something here, as the Wheel of Fortune is still spinning. This card is about exploring life metaphorically by exchanging big ideas with others or just thinking about your own philosophies. Perhaps it's time to change your mind about um, <clears throat> something important. It can also signal that a trip away is coming up. If that's something you're working uh, to achieve. Yeah, OK, so that's, you know, that almost came into a <laughs> running sentence. So it is it can also signal that a trip away is coming up if that's something you're working uh, to achieve. But the overall message of this card is that whatever happens next will be some sort of gift, even if that simply means widening your worldview. OK, so and keep in mind that, you know, these cards. The way it's uh, set up in the book, if you wanted to, you know, interpret or read them, it says the first card is usually the past, present and then future outcomes. So you can look at this first quarter moon as, uh, you know, you being tested and maybe the testing that uh, you have gone through is sort of like, you know, uh, moving away from you. So that's one way of looking at it. All right. So the last card uh, for you, Taurus, that was selected for you is the. Um, what do you need to release? And this is the waning mood, the waning moon. Okay. So the waning moon says here, the, uh, points to what's failing. The waning moon points to what's falling away. Life goes in cycles and sometimes we need downtime or to let go. No matter when in the moon cycle, you pull this card it's a sign that a situation has peaked for better or, or for worse. It is time for you to go easier. It is the autumn and winter of the cycle. So what do you need to release? Almost certainly something from the situation you're asking about. This card can be very positive, but it can still be gently suggesting that you let go or let, excuse me, that you let something go and stop trying so hard. Okay, that's it. That's the message. Yeah, when? What do you need to release? This is the waning mood. Okay. All right. There you go, Taurus. Thank you so much. Always appreciate you guys. Um, please be safe. Uh, always emphasizing that safety. Love and light to you until I talk to you again. Take care. Bye.